This video is about the solution of linear non-homogeneous second order differential equation and we say this as a linear because this the derivative of this variable y is decreasing uh, in this order that is d square y by dx square dy by dx and then this y equals to multiplying with certain constant equals to zero that is the case of uh, this homogeneous second order differential equation and when it comes to this linear non-homogeneous so when it comes to this non-homogeneous this right hand side doesn't be equals to zero second order differential equation that is given as a0 d square y by dx square plus this a1 dy by dx plus a2y equals to this phi of x and where this a0 a1 and this a2 are some constant it can it is a real constants where this a0 a1 and this a2 are real constants and we say this as a linear because you can observe these derivatives are decreasing from this 2 1 and stops at this y and this we say this as a non homogeneous because this phi of x is not equals to 0 and this is the second order because it this derivative is having the higher derivative as uh, the higher derivative for this differential equation is 2 so we say this as second order and this is the example of this differential equation where we have constants such as a, a0 a1 and this a2 multiplying with this derivative and for this let us know its solution so when it comes to its solution then the solution is given as cf plus this pi and cf we have talked about right here how to find uh, the complementary function for this uh, non-homogeneous second-order differential equation you have to convert this uh, number of times the derivative in terms of this m or some variable m and this is considered let us go we have considered this m1 and m2 are uh, roots of this uh, quadratic equation and when th there are four different cases like this m1 and m2 both being real and distant other case we'll have this complementary function and when this m1 and m2 are real and equal this is distant and this is equal when it comes to equal then we'll have y equals to this c1 plus c2x e to the power this mx and when we consider these two roots as uh, some a complex number where this real number are equal but this imaginary part is having some different opposite signs further case we have this cf uh, y equal to this value and you can observe here this y is going to be y is equals to this cf and so this y is all this thing is a cf and because this pi is e equals to zero for this homogeneous and when it comes to this source we have this its solution and coming to this finding out the pi because this phi of x is not zero so case one so for this case one this phi of x is equals to e to the power this ax 
or the particular integer we set this as particular integer for this case pi is going to be equals to 1 by this f of t multiplies with e to the power ax and we need to provide this a to this instead of d you have to provide its value as a then we have this f of a multiplying this e to the power this ax where this denominator must not be equals to zero so this f of a is equals not equals to this zero otherwise this case fails uh, you suppose this case fail if this f of a is equals to zero where this a is a root of this auxiliary equation where a is a root of auxiliary equation and if this case fails like f of a equals to zero then we'll have this pi as one by this f of d to the power ax and this becomes equals to this x so now you can observe this x is going to multiply with this e to the power ax and you need to provide derivative of this function and where this d is going to be equals to this a and again if suppose this case fails then like f of f dash of a equals to this zero that is making this denominator as zero so that is the case of case failing if this happens then this pi is equals to this one by ax it will becomes x square u to the power this ax whole divided by this f double dash of this a so how many times this case fails now uh, you need to provide that many uh, you need to multiply this x that many times and you need to do a derivative of this function that many times and this is going to keep on going if this um, for the third time if this f dash of a becomes equals to zero then you have to provide x cube and three times the derivative of this function and providing d equals to a so this is the case one that is phi of x equal to e to the power ax and another case that is case two that is phi of x becomes cos ax plus b or this sine ax plus b and then this particular integral becomes 1 by this f of d multiplies with this cos ax plus b or this sine ax plus b then this pi is going to be equals to 1 by f of minus a square sine ax plus b cos plus b and you just need to provide this d equals to minus this a square and this denominator must not be equals to zero so this a to the power minus this a square must not be equals to zero and what if this this becomes equals to zero so that comes under the case failing so if this f of minus a square becomes equals to zero then we will have the another case that is pi will be equals to this again you can observe here this x is multiplying so we have to do an we have to do a derivative of this function and this multiplies with this sine 
ax or this cos ax and it is going to keep on going for this case and coming to the last case this is the second case and case 3 will be assuming this phi of x is equals to this x to the power this m and this m is not negative integer m is non negative integer so for that case this pi will be equals to 1 by f of t x to the power this m or we can write it as f of t to the power of minus 1 multiplies with this x to the power m and now this f of t to the power minus 1 for this case it is going to expand so we need to expand this uh, f of d to the power minus 1 you know, in this ascending power of this t and ascending powers of this t and apply this to this x to the power this m and final case is case 4 for this case let's assume this phi of s is equals to v e to the power this ax where this v is a function of this x at that case this particular integral becomes 1 by this f of t e to the power this ax multiplies with this v and now if we have this then this becomes e to the power ax 1 divided by this f of t plus this a multiplies with this variable So this is about these four cases for this linear non-homogeneous second order differential equations and because of this phi of not being equals to zero that means this phi of x may have some conditions like being if this phi of x is having this value then this pi becomes this and in the same way this phi of x becomes uh, is in the form of e to the power ax then this pi becomes this thing and for this case too if this phi of x is having this then this pi becomes this and same for this x to the power if phi of x is having x to the power m this m is not a uh, negative integer and for this case you need to expand this f of t to the power of minus 1 and to find this pi that is particular integral and when it comes to this complementary function i have talked about this uh, right here you just need to convert into this quadratic equation and finding out its root based on its roots this complementary function is going to be uh, provided right here